Today's video is the continuation on the chapter Acids and Bases. In this video, we'll discuss bases. Today, we'll discuss bases and their uses in our daily lives. Now, what is a base? A base is a substance which in aqueous solution is slippery to touch, tastes bitter, changes the color of indicators, that is turns red litmus paper blue, reacts with acids to form salts and also promotes certain chemical reactions known as base catalysis. Uses of bases in our daily life. Let's begin with ammonia. Ammonia is essential for maintaining the acid-base balance in our bodies and so keeps us healthy. It is also used as a processing aid in thousands of food and beverage products. Explosive nitrogen is created from ammonia. Polymers, that is acrylic and nylon, also use ammonia. Next is aluminium hydroxide. Its uses are to treat symptoms of increased stomach acid such as heartburns, upset stomach, sour stomach or acid indigestion. To reduce phosphate levels in people with certain kidney conditions, also aluminium hydroxide is used. Next, we will talk about calcium hydroxide. It treats damaged teeth, especially immature permanent teeth, to preserve the living tissue. It is also used as an antibiotic during root canals. The food shipping and storage industries use calcium hydroxide as it keeps fruits from ripening before it can be shipped to grocery stores across the country. It is also used in iron refining. Calcium hydroxide is also used in the paper manufacturing industry as it is one chemical within the bleaching process that makes paper white. It is even part of paper recycling as a coagulant to help remove ink and dyes from waste paper before it is recycled into new paper. Sodium hydroxide. It is used quite a bit in food processing. It is often used in steps for peeling fruits and vegetables, processing cocoa and chocolate, thickening of ice cream, poultry scalding and soda processing. Olives are soaked in sodium hydroxide along with other substances to make them black, as shown in the picture. It is also used in processes to make products including plastics, soaps, rayon and textiles. Soft pretzels are also coated with the compound to give them a chewy texture. Sodium hydroxide is also used to revitalize acids in petroleum refining and also for etching of aluminium. Next is magnesium hydroxide. It reduces stomach acid and increases water in the intestines which may induce defecation. It is used as a laxative to relieve occasional constipation. Also used as an anti-acid to relieve indigestion, sour stomach and heartburn. It is used as an antiperspirant deodorant and as a non-hazardous alkali to neutralize acidic wastewater. This way, bases are very useful in our daily lives. We discussed bases and their uses in our daily lives today. See you soon with our next video. Goodbye.